So this is Darth Maul uh, premium format. <clears throat> I had it the same time. I mean, it arrived the same time when it uh, when my Groot premium format arrived as well. Uh, but this piece is very amazing. Um, first, even though uh, it's covered with uh, with mixed media, with cloth and everything, but as you can see, if I'm not sure if the camera would pick it up, but it really conveys like he's about to to run or something. He's like he's, he's starting to to. To move or make his move or you know the the Nambu scene where he when he comes out and uh, to face Obi-Wan and and uh, Qui-Gon Jinn uh, I think this was the scene when he he started to light up his lightsaber I think this one uh, is the piece and he was is like he was about to, to move or make his move or about to run so it was this kind of moment uh, in that scene. So and then if you look closer, uh, his his expression really, for me somehow conveys that uh, moment <clears throat> where he's he's locked already in his opponent, and then he's like, okay, this is it. And then yeah, and the costume itself, as I mentioned, is a uh, mixed media. It looks really good. Uh, the texture and then these are also posable. As you can see, I like it posed like this. So in the beginning, I have it like like this one. So I just found out like you can actually pull it from this. So yeah, so you can fix it up, with make which makes it really good. So the lightsaber is really good. This is the regular. So I place the regular because I really like the the lightsaber, uh, the twin blade lightsaber that he is using normally so i like that one and then he has these earrings as you can see look at that i hope it picks it up yep looks really nice the detail on this dude is really good look at the horns yeah uh, let's zoom in i hope it picks it up yep that's how detailed it is in the micro level and yeah so basically he you cannot see that much scope in him as because he's covered in mixed media but the mixed media is really really well done look at the detailed uh, belt looks really nice the fabric looks really really nice and the details in the blade the light is not that bright compared to the dark Vader, but it's still really good. So the back, there's not that much. It's just the belt in here. And then that's it. So he's really covered in mixed media, uh, but he looks really damn good. Overall piece, when I put him up uh, together with the uh how would say the, my star wars collection with all the lightsabers and the red he looks damn good so the fabric again uh the base is the typical uh star wars base where it's very clean uh somehow resembles like uh, some planet or palace or whatever or spaceship but the piece, I really like the piece. Mm, not that heavy though. Really not that heavy. Uh, I guess it might have been really light considering it's most of the Star Wars piece that I have or has really weight. But this guy uh, doesn't have that much weight in him. So one more look at the face. The very nice uh, painted uh, face. Really, really well done. Very nice detail. So, for the rating, uh, we'll stay tuned for the rating for this piece. And, yeah. So, for the rating, so as you can see, Darth Maul 
is more likely covered with a with the mixed media and most of the paint is like in only in his head the base and in uh, the arms other than that you really cannot see that much in terms of paint because he is basically covered with mixed media uh, so for the paint if you can see the the face is actually well painted uh, it's very accurate as well and I and I think if you can see some of the pictures in the horn uh, it's actually pretty good uh, in terms of detail so there's no problems uh, of paint in my side or in this piece so, but uh, it's you rarely can see a, a lot of paint uh, how would say a uh, paint job on this one so I'm rating this one with uh, 4 out of 5 uh, for paint for sculpt um, this piece is also I mean the, the sculpt also cannot be seen uh, like let's say that much because again it's covered with mixed media but the detail in this in, in the head and uh, the head sculpt is really good especially in the horns and also his uh, how would say like mask or not really a mask <laughs> it's like uh, his paint in his uh, I mean does the sculpt in his head uh, I mean the paint in his head or the, the, the drawings in his head it, it's not just painted but it's also sculpted so it's actually pretty good and also the the lightsabers are really really well done uh, the details there is very good and as you can see there's uh, like uh, some scratches and then the, the the line details also is very nice on the with the lightsabers so but again uh, there you really cannot see that much of the of the scope other than the hands the head uh, the base and the like let's say the boots so I'm also giving this uh, the scope with uh, four out of five for the rating <coughs> For the design, the design for me is actually pretty good. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can actually see him. I mean, for me, I, I, I see him like he's about to lean forward, and let's say go to an attack mode. And it somehow shows in the pose. And also, I think it may be with the, with the hands, I guess, or how the hands are, are positioned. So it's actually very good and I also like the exclusive because the exclusive can basically help you put him or place him in a in a smaller area or a smaller case or cabinet because it has it's the own it's it it's only a one blade lightsaber but for me I like the the twin blade it looks really good in him and it for me if it's dark mall it's basically with the twin blade one thing I also like is the mixed media. The mixed media is actually very good. And the cloth are really well done. Uh, everything for me in the, how his costume is, uh, is done is really, really good. And the details also and how you can pose also the, the cloth or the mixed media. Uh, I think the lower parts, uh, the one, I'm not sure how it's called. Maybe it's uh, like a scarf uh, in him. So it's also poseable really good and yeah it, it, i mean for me the his costume or his wardrobe or <laughs> how do you call this in in uh let's say yeah basically his costume his clothes are really really well done the belt also is very very good very detailed and one thing i also like is that how they they how would say they separate the the head sculpt so the head sculpt is separated by a magnet but you can actually it's actually until his uh, neckline or somewhere almost in the yeah where you cannot really see the sims because it's also covered in the video mixed media so that is actually really good that is a good touch as well and for me maybe some doesn't like because it's just somehow standing but like I said earlier he's like somehow moving forward or leaning forward to move or to attack let's say Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan in the Naboo scene in the in the movies so it's actually really good for me so the design is for me is actually 4.9 out of 5 uh, so for the X-Factor I would say 
the twin blade <laughs> I mean hey I will show you later how he looks like together with my uh, dark side uh, statues and then basically yeah he looks really good uh, with, with my lighting as well so uh, for the no factor I would say if you couldn't get the the, uh, the exclusive the exclusive is actually like I said is really good uh, like for me I need the exclusive because maybe right now or maybe in the future I might be moving him into a lower cabinet or placing him inside a cabinet and not outside so I need the space there maybe he might be confined so I can switch the exclusive part uh, and then basically change it uh, to the one blade lightsaber so yeah so uh, in a while I'll show you as well how he looks like um, with regards to the other uh, dark side Star Wars pieces so this is Darth Maul uh, and I placed him together with the uh, other dark side pieces uh, they are basically on top of the cabinet and well, with a white black background I also placed them here to basically somehow I uh, wouldn't have any problem with the uh, with the space because of the lightsabers and their poses so he looks very good and very menacing considering the light of from my lighting and also from the lightsabers so he looks really really good together with them so there you go uh, this is sideshow Darth Maul premium format exclusive so this is really really good for me because uh, I haven't I've been chasing a Darth Maul ever since and then when this came out I really get the chance to get it and then actually I started with the uh, wait list and then I was finally able to get this piece uh, with, I mean the exclusive piece so uh, thank you again for watch watching this is Injun's Place so hope you subscribe and stay tuned for another statue review